Hello everyone, how you doing amigos, my friends in YouTube? I'm starting a new series, a new series that I want to cover the 35 civilizations. We can see here that we're going to start with Aztecs. I'm going to start in alphabetical order. I'm going to try to cover all the safes, you know, with what is the most popular opening or, well, not only the most popular because most of the situations, the experts now are just doing militias, you know, but what it can be the, more, the most effective. So, for the civilizations that are like Aztecs, I will go for pro games like Viper or some others, you know, because it's pretty, pretty standard. But for some other civilizations that maybe even uh, the pros are going to do uh, malicious as well, I will try to, to bring some, some different perspective, you know, and I will bring you tutorials, build order, how to do it. And I will try to not focus only in the pros. This is going to be for everyone. And if you are starting the game, it's gonna be even better. So guys, this is gonna be also my first video on 4K resolution. I'm gonna try it my best as well. And we're going to review uh, Bill or the Aztecs Militias with Viper versus MBL, you know? But then the second one, the third, and all the other sips is gonna be a little bit different. Guys, remember that it's really important that if you like this video, you subscribe, thumb up, and leave a commentary because your feedback is so important to keep my YouTube going on. Guys, we love this game. Let's move to the action. Oh my, I'm so damn excited. There we go, guys. Well, this is Sembiel versus the Viper, like I was telling you. Aztecs and Tatars. The game is paused and we're going to go and see in fast speed. Well, let's go to Fog of War from the Viper with the medieval Total War music in the background. And he's with the Aztecs is starting. Fog of War is the most important because we need to to, to put ourselves in like we were playing. I will go a little bit faster speed and then pay attention in the details. You can check here, remember in Capture H, the village number, this is the one uh, military, the Eagle, and we'll go six villages, always, always on the goats. Six villages on the goats. You can see how you are exploring also in circles. He's with the Eagle, probably he got a number in the Eagle, also other number in the other goat. Okay, don't forget about that. It's important to make hot case, but if you are starting this this game, well, just know the basic build orders and then you will be adding hot case. But this is what they do. They put hot case, well, pretty much to, to everything. One on the eagle, one on the goat. Probably he got another hot case also in those six bullets so he can jump directly into the TC. And for now, there's a lot of details to take in consideration, of course. Piper is playing versus MBL. If you are playing against players that are more passive, you will have less problems. Piper is playing against a player that probably would be well completely. So the, the strategies change com well, 100%. If we were play, for example, doing this tutorial against uh, AI, it would be much more different because we will focus only on what Viper can do, right? But uh, there will be a lot of things that MBL can can make the, the life much harder for for, for the Viper. We can see how he sent four villages on wood, six on foot. So now after those four villages on wood, you go and take the first boar. Remember, six on foot, four villages on wood, and then the first boar. The next village is, is to be where? Well, it's gonna lure even with the TC, like you can see. Wow, two hits and then get it. Viper Pro, man, Viper Pro. Right now he's 13 and he need to make a house. Make the house, don't forget, don't be housed. He's about to be housed. Not really, because he did with 13 population. Now he's 14, and he's gonna make the mill now. How many villages on, on foot on the berries? It will be like three. Remember that Ast has got something really important. You are with 150 gold. That means you don't need gold to make the loom, and you don't need gold to make the five militias. That's why the strategy here is gonna be Aztecs five malicious. Vipers take now the decisions to go forward with the eagle. Forward with the eagle. Well, this is good if you want to go really aggressive. If this tutorial of the strategy was five malicious try to go fast castle as soon as possible, probably he should be pushing the deers with his eagle. You know? But right now, he put three villages on berries. And after the three villages on berries, the fourth villager is going to go for the boar. And now. Another village on berries. We can see how he's exploring, but we will focus here in the build order. We are already in 18 population. He's gonna make the barrack. Why he's sending another village? Because he wants to make a house. You know, he's gonna make another house. Because if he's not doing right now, when he did do the barrack, 
and want to make Malicia, he's gonna be housed. So you need to make the house a little bit faster at the same time that you are doing the barrack to be completely smooth. Everything is on food, as you can see. Four on berries, four on wood, and then everything in the hunt. Hunt, the, 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 the coats, and now what is he going to do? We are in 20 population, remember, 19 villages. He's gonna send fifth village on wood. There you go. And now another house. Well, this house probably is not needed 100% yet, but he wants to, to be sure that to don't get idle. And now he's doing the malicious. He's doing the malicious. Don't forget always to be, well, gathering the food on the TC. Gathering the food on the TC. For now, he can see how MBL is coming with the malicious already. So this is going to distract a little bit his build order. And he's starting to make farms. As soon as you get the 60 wood, then spam. Spam farms. Spam farms, more, more farms. You can see how he has the resources. Remember that Aztecs carry more, more food, more food. So it is a great economy bonus. But you need to garrison to gather the, the food because I mean, if it's great, uh, it's going to take a little bit longer to, to put the food under the TC. This is now the five, fifth militia and we make a small pause. Why? Because he has five militias. We can see already... 20, 23 villages, right? But he got what? Six villages on wood, six villages on wood, four villages on berries, and look, okay. under the TC, 13 villages on food under the town center. So pretty much is six villages on wood and everything else on food. He never took any gold and he got already the malicious and he's doing the loom, zero gold, but he didn't need to send any village to gold. Now, well, you can take several decisions. If he sold the malicious, you can go aggressive or you can stay at home. If you are going aggressive like he's doing, you have to be careful at home. What can you do? You can wall your own economy. Pali said, for that reason, it's very important how you make the, your lumber camp. Otherwise, if you make too far or in a worse position, it's going to be really complicated. But you can see one, two tiles away from the wood line and you are completely wall. He got three farmers. And remember, anytime drop farms 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 and more farms what uh, what viper didn't do here he cannot make a lot of damage because we all know mbl he walled all the map he's walling with so many villages but we will focus on the aztecs on viper viper build order and we keep going and checking he's still with four villages on berries now six on wood but everything else in the stragglers why because right now he can't, since the militias are around, he can't really do too much. So try to keep close to the town center, you are safe, avoiding the, 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 the aggression from your opponent. And when you get now a hundred wood, a second lumber camp will be good. You decide what position is better, but this is completely safe. It's still going, and you can see the resources for both players, but now we focus on blue. Piper is doing the lumber camp. Now it's still one, two, three, four, five, six, seven farmers, and he's on the way on the way to feudalage with 28 villages 28 villages we can make a small recap again and make a pause we have five on wood six on wood 11 then the struggle but those strugglers will put more farmers well probably and also depend what you want the problem is that you can see here how is mbl limit the deers so there is two possibilities if he was Pushing the deers, he will, bow, he will go almost directly to castle it. Now it's not going to be the, the case. You know, we go a little bit fast forward. He's trying to go for the mining camp, but he can't because he's around. In a perfect build order, in a game that you are going to be doing, just to show you the, 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 the final list he's trying to block, but he can't. It will be different because there's not a, a ideal build order because there's a lot of factors that can happen. And one of the things that, that are really, really important in Age of Empires is that you have to adapt now five villages on goal you can see how his resources are looking far from going up but now he's doing will barrow he did double with axe horse collar and what viper is doing it's adding all farm now he almost doesn't have any billion on the stragglers he delete those he's protecting he's also attacking if you check the minimap but blast beat barrack archie range he's doing one two arches maybe two if you want to to deal with the with the militias from your opponent, you make a couple of arches. It's not super expensive, but the resources keep going. 
Keep going and keep going. He's doing another archery range, so his transition is pretty much on five militias. He did even the Metatama upgrade, because if he didn't, he could be up already to castle it. So, we can see very soon the end of this small tutorial, but really important to, to pay attention in so many details. I will go slow. And now he's up to Castellage, minute 17, 5 seconds. Or 7 seconds, he say there, but he just click a little bit faster. Then we have 6 villages on wood. Oh. Another 10 villages of wood. Perfect. Some oh. straggler. Well, he's sending another 11 and 5 villages of gold. Oh. He has the archers oh. trying to micro and dealing with those. And he's trying to destroy his opponent. But at home, he got also 13 farmers and 3 villages on various. What he's doing is, remember, basic. 2 lumber camps. You put in total 10, 12 villages maybe on wood. And with 4 or 5 villages on gold, it's fine. Then everything else, everything else on food. Berries, farmers, obviously he didn't have the deers. With deers would be easier to go up. But this time up is very nice because it's not the normal, the standard, the standard up without any aggression. Because if you play in lower level, you know that this is going to be probably easier, easier to go up. But this one is great to see how Viper, being against MBL with malicious at home, he managed to go really quick up. And MBL was completely, completely wall at home, so he didn't put it easy to him. Guys, this has been the, the tutorial from five malicious Aztecs going up. And remember, he did double RG range, but there was there is more possibilities. You can add more villages on goal, and instead of two RG ranges, go market plasmid and then barracks. Then it will be different. We'll go completely for eagles, but that might be another one guys if you enjoy it thumb up subscribe and more videos are coming soon we love this game bye bye guys